Surveys is really what I used to use SurveyMonkey for or some other third parties out there. Uh, but now being able to do it directly within MailChimp is really powerful. You already have this email list. You already have the ability to email people. It just makes sense that they would implement surveys. So I'm really glad they did this. I think probably two or three years ago now they added this. Essentially, all you do is you choose the audience that you're going to send the survey to. You can create the survey. There's also templates down there as well. If you have like any, check them out. Sometimes you can save a lot of time with that. Again, like I said, MailChimp has a lot of different ways they build things. The sign up form was very clunky in my opinion this one's a lot cleaner a lot easier to understand so if we just click on the plus button there we've got a lot of different options and how this is going to be laid out so one thing at a time let's just say the first question is going to be open text maybe we're going to ask we could say what is your name uh what is what is your name? The answer goes there. It's obviously not a great question because you already have everyone's name, but regardless, let's leave it like that. Now we're going to add another question below and maybe this one's going to be radio buttons and this could be, um, would you buy a, I don't know, this is all pretty bad examples, but would you buy an something with zero sugar? And let's just say option one is yes. We can click the plus. Option two is no. And then option three is maybe. And if you don't like that, you can always click the minus and that would obviously get rid of that. Then we can add another thing below. And let's say the next one, you just kind of get the idea here there's a lot of different stuff here you can have uh, check boxes if you wanted and so this could have like more than one answer obviously compared to radio buttons we've all seen this in forms below and then on the right side this is what's really interesting here you'll see not only can, can we change what this box is from check boxes to something else but also we can make it required or optional so if you're doing a survey and you don't really need to know everything you can make it optional which is really nice and we could have an other option again saves you a little time so you don't have to add other all the time and then auto tagging this one's really cool so it says right there automatic adds tags to your MailChimp audience contacts using their survey responses. And that's what I was saying before. Tags can be incredibly powerful. So I'm just going to say, yeah, let's do auto tagging. I think that's a great way to do things here um, just to at least see what it's able to do. We don't have to use the tags, but they will be there based on this response. So it could be a great way to create tags without like you don't have to know your audience. You can send a survey and they tell you who they are. And that's going to be an easier way to categorize them and send more accurate targeted emails that can, you know, first of all, not bother people who don't want to be bothered. And second of all, really be appealing and, and convert well with people who are interested in that. So now that we have everything that we want, maybe I'll just add one more just for the sake of having some more things on here. Let's say range. Let's say, how much do you like pizza? How much do you like pizza? And we can have a range level. Sure. And then once that's ready, we can click on continue to design. So this is what it looks like right now. We can add our branding on the top. So let's click on branding. We haven't actually added our logo yet. So adding it here, there's other places you can add it. It's going to be used throughout your entire website, um, your entire MailChimp experience. Very convenient to have your logo in here just so you can drop it in, use the colors and things like that. So I'm going to add an image and it brings us over to the content studio. So I'm going to upload my logo right here. And then it brings us back to the form customization. We can click on branding. There it is. We could include MailChimp badge. No, I don't want the MailChimp badge, especially because I have a paid plan. I don't need that on here. I don't want to market for them. I'm marketing for myself. Custom messaging. We can add a survey title. We could say, um, welcome. The submit button can say submit, or you could just say send it, whatever. You could say anything you want. Confirmation message. Thank you. Yeah, let's keep that. Okay, so that all looks pretty good. There's our confirmation. Then we can click on styles, and there's not a whole lot here. It's going to be the background color, maybe the button color. So if you have like a your logo, I'd probably change it to this blue. I'd probably change this button to match my logo. I think that would make sense. Also, because it's just like a, a, a large banner on the top, I would probably use a different logo or like full text logo that would span across would probably look a lot better. But you get the idea of how you can go about doing this. So let's just click on review before we actually save this and uh, enable it. So uh, untitled survey, we can change the name of the survey to welcome survey, welcome survey save audience full audience for central media smart notifications receive an email notification when we detect potential negative feedback that may require response that's really cool so if somebody goes on there and it's like i don't like pizza i'm mad at you uh then yeah you can go and you get the feedback and it's easier than like you having to go in and do everything so there's a lot of ai built into mailchimp and that's one of them right there kind of detecting where you might need to be responding to things and so ultimately that should be helping your business otherwise we can have a daily summary report for people that reply to this and just get a, a general idea of everything and we'll say continue. And then of course we can share our survey. So the survey set up, all we have to do is either share the URL, share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, um, or you could create a new email and send it out as a blast to your entire audience. That's what they recommend. It makes sense. Or you could add it to an existing automation. So that's what we probably will end up doing in a minute. That'll be probably our welcome email or maybe uh, like right after the welcome email. And we'll make that as an automation soon. So otherwise we can go down to inbox. So actually let's just copy this URL, copy to clipboard. Let's just check it out real quick before we go to anything else. And there it is. So you can see this is the form. This is our survey. It looks good.